Hello, this is a virtual microscopy slide showing the adrenal gland and we have a very obvious ovoid nodule here which is a tumour but let's take a quick look at the recap of normal adrenal histology. So zooming in, this is the region of the adrenal cortex which has roughly three zones. This bluish area here is the adrenal medulla and this is back to the cortex on the opposite side. Let's zoom in to the adrenal cortex. Starting from the outermost layer, this is the zona glomerulosa, and the cells here are arranged in oval nests. The cells don't have that much cytoplasm. The zona glomerulosa cells elaborate mineralocorticoids, such as aldosterone. This pale zone is the zona fasciculata, and the cells here elaborate glucocorticoids. The cells are arranged in cords, and we can see that there is very abundant bubbly, pale cytoplasm and these cells are very rich in lipids which gives the adrenal cortex this bright yellow color grossly. Moving, moving on to the innermost layer of the adrenal cortex, this is the zona reticularis and these cells elaborate androgens. They usually have a more pinkish or sometimes if you look carefully kind of a brownish cytoplasm because of the presence of lipofusin pigment. And then coming to the central area of the adrenal gland, this is the adrenal medulla. The cells here are quite large and polygonal and they have this bluish or basophilic tinge to the cytoplasm. Tumors that arise from the adrenal medulla are known as pheochromocytomas. Now let's move back to the area of pathology, which is this ovoid tumor mass here. It is relatively well circumscribed and if you just look at this low magnification, the cells are very pale. In fact, they resemble very closely the cells of the zona fasciculata and this is quite common in adrenal cortical tumors that the cells appear to arise from the zona fasciculata cells. Looking at higher magnification, we can see that the tumor cells are arranged in these rounded groups called nests. The cells themselves are quite polygonal. They have rounded, relatively uniform nuclei of variable sizes, some larger, some smaller, and they do have very abundant cytoplasm, which appears quite bubbly. And this is again, very lipid rich. And often this means that grossly these tumors are bright yellow in color. So they are quite easily recognizable when we bisect the tumors grossly. So just to compare the appearance of the tumor cells with the zona fasciculata, and you can see that they are very similar. The diagnosis here is a benign tumor of the adrenal cortex. So this is adrenocortical adenoma. There is a malignant counterpart known as an adrenocortical carcinoma. And how do we differentiate adenoma from carcinoma? Usually carcinomas are much larger. They have invasive growth invading into the adrenal gland, into the adjacent structures, into blood vessels and sinusoids. They also have areas of necrosis. The cells appear more pleomorphic with more atypical nuclei. And also there are raised mitotic counts among the tumor cells. So this particular tumor appears relatively bland and uniform. And this is quite a classical appearance of an adrenocortical adenoma. So in summary, we have a well circumscribed ovoid tumor mass arising in the adrenal cortex. And it is composed of nests of large polygonal cells with abundant clear cytoplasm resembling the cells of the zona fasciculata. There are no significant atypical features in terms of invasive growth, raised mitosis, nuclear pleomorphism, or necrosis. Therefore, the diagnosis is adrenocortical adenoma. Thank you.